St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots here, match 22 at Warner Park. And uh, centre to bat were the Patriots. Lewis and Gale got amongst the bowling early and struck it so, so sweetly, as they do. And they've uh, had a lovely time of it here in St. Kitts and Nevis, have these two dominant left-handers. Anything slightly overpitched was uh, always going to disappear, but the fielding wasn't up to the standard early on. Some of the bowling was a little wayward at times as well. And Lewis and Gale decided they would cut loose. And McCullum there diving over one, very unlike some of the Trimbago Knight Riders fielders here at Warner. Lewis given out here, very unlucky, hit the pad, out for 39, he was going like a steam train, he can't believe it, has to go though, and a power failure here, the floodlights cut off, reduced it to 18 overs and we had some rain as well, and uh, Gale said look I'm going to take this game by the scruff of the neck and show you how well I can strike this ball. Yeah, it was a gale of old. And then more rain came down. It was reduced to then 13 overs. And that just allowed both batsmen to free their arms and have that freedom. Gale so destructive. Some poor bowling as well. Full tosses. Pays his bat for another 50, but he just kept on accelerating. His last 53 runs coming off 20 deliveries. And some monster sixes being hit. Hard to stop. And Brooks, too, he played his little part there. Smacked a couple there towards the end. He got 20 from 17. But there were sixes galore. But he fell trying to go for 100. But 93 from 47 with eight sixes to the skipper. Tiger was 169 initially in 13 overs. But because the rains kept coming down, and admittedly, made it uh, another Duckworth Lewis method. And I'll tell you what, McCullum had some luck early on, but he can go crazy when he needs to. He certainly did. He pumped the ball down the ground. And they was trying to get as many fours as they can. And Ryan Wilpenhaus, best type of wicket a fast bowler can do, top of off stump. They kept cramping up McCullum and he kept finding ways of finding the boundary as well. And Munro went trying to cut something that was just a little bit too close. And the rain came down for the third time, which reduced the game to six overs where they needed 52 of 17 deliveries. And welcome Darren Bravo, who hit three consecutive sixes. And from then on, the momentum changed. Mohamed Nabi, who's hardly been hit for boundaries, went for 21 runs off his one over. Something that you don't expect to see. McCullum found the boundary, and Bravo kept going as well. And all of a sudden, the required rate came down to 10 runs off the last over. Well, Jonathan Carter was given the last over, and we only needed two deliveries because it was two big sixes. Well played to Darren Bravo, who got his side over the line. Simply sensational stuff. A win by eight wickets for TKR by Duckworth Lewis Method. It's how we play.